Hi, my name is Tochi. Thank you for joining me on my journey of self-awareness, self-discovery, all of that, all of them things. Valentine's Day, in so many ways, in like every way, is so heavily centered around heteronormativity. I am here to dilute that algorithm a little. I'm here to add some flavor to the soup. I'm here to put a drop of the rainbow in the monochrome. I already know that this video will evoke some hateful type of negatively driven emotions from certain people and I want to make it very clear from now, from the beginning, from the jump, from the genesis that if you are that person, this video is not for you. Absolutely not. The comment section of this video is not the space for you to express your alternative opinions or views or beliefs to the title of my video or the contents of my video. No. I will be using my whole chest, my whole chest, to delete any and all negative comments. If you have a problem, you can take it to your village pastor, you can take it to your mother, you can take it to God, but you will not be bringing it here, so don't. But let me tell you who this video is for. Let me tell you who this video is for. This video is for anyone and everyone who aligns with any parts of the title, and most specifically, anyone who identifies as queer and Nigerian. This is a space to let you know. It is a reminder. It is a form of representation. It is an affirmation that your queer black Nigerian love is valid and it matters and you are valid and you matter. I spent so many years hating myself, feeling guilty for being myself, wishing I was someone else, someone more normal and less different. I spent so many years trying to fit into boxes that couldn't hold me, crumbling under pressures that were not mine to carry, drowning in waters that weren't mine to swim in. Am I a poet? I just, I spent so many years fighting, belittling, hurting, and silencing my own self. And in hindsight, I know a very large part of the reason why I went through all that and why I did all that is because I didn't see anyone like me anywhere. There was no representation for me to lean on. Queer and Nigerian. Where? Who? When? So first and foremost, first and foremost foremost. I am here. I, Tuchi, I am here. A queer Nigerian existing and doing so whilst choosing joy, abundance, positivity, gratitude, peace, and all the other good things. I have decided to love all of myself and do so unapologetically. But I also feel like I would have been able to get to this space of unapologetic self-love and just self-love in the first place had there been other people that I saw or that I could resonate or align with that shared similar experiences to me or that shared identities similar to me and honestly one of the reasons why i decided to even make this channel in the first place was because i feel like by sharing my journey through this voyage we call life someone may see themselves in me and even for a moment they would be motivated to keep going and honestly if sharing my journey can help even just one person then i'm good i'm satisfied i just want what i lacked when i was growing into myself i want to be able to provide that for someone else because i know how much it would have benefited me and my journey and my journey in loving myself <sighs> yeah so when I speak about queerness, at least for myself, it's not only a way for me to define my sexuality, it also is a way for me to define my politic. The way I move through the world, the way I think, my perspectives, my opinions, they're, they're all queer. All of it is queer. And the thing about words is that words have meaning and words are very powerful. But I also feel like English is a very limiting language for me. And I don't feel like it can carry the weight of all my identities and my experiences and the things that I feel. So I say queer because that's what makes the most sense for me with the words that I have available. But it's deeper than that. There's more. But even then, even with all of that, my queerness is still valid. Your queerness is still valid. Queerness is not a monolith. There is no one way to be queer. My queerness is valid and your queerness is valid even if our queernesses exist differently or the same and regardless of whether other people understand mine or yours or even just queerness as an idea or understanding or a concept whether it's understood by other people or whether they get it whether they support it doesn't matter does not take away the validity of your queerness or my queerness or just queerness in general 
existing within the overlapping identities of being Nigerian and queer is one of the most complex, layered, and enlightening daily feats I engage with. And for a long time, I was made to believe that my queerness diluted my Nigerianness because apparently, according to some false sources, I had forgotten my culture and tradition. And I'm not even going to get into the details of how problematic that statement is. That comment alone, there's so many layered issues with it. But best believe I plan on doing a video where I do break it down. And I am here to tell you that your queerness does not make you any less Nigerian or any less black or any less anything. In fact, what it does do is it adds a little pizzazz to it, adds a little flavor, adds a little edge. It's part of what makes you you. It's part of what makes you unique. It's part of what makes you special. So it doesn't take away, it adds in a good way. So if you are queer and Nigerian and you have been made to feel guilty for the intersection of those identities existing within you, I am here to tell you and I want you to know that that guilt is not yours to carry. In fact, chances are that that guilt has been projected onto you by other people. It's easier for people to project their fears and insecurities onto you with the hopes that you'll change who you are to make them comfortable. They'd rather do that than do the work it takes to unlearn colonial conditioning that has limited their understandings and perspectives and opinions and beliefs. I myself internalized other people's projections. Other people projected their fears and insecurities onto me and I took it in and digested it. And I did this for so long that I did not even realize that they weren't my fears and my insecurities. And it literally took me hitting rock bottom. I hit rock bottom to the point where I was scared for myself. I started therapy. It was therapy and the glory of God that allowed me to shed the many, 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 many layers and years of projections that I had used to build a foundation of hatred for myself. Just not a good place to be. Not a good place to be. So if I can avoid anyone else getting to where I got to, or if I can somehow avoid anyone getting there at all, I will try my best <laughs> to do that. The reason I can stand here today and say that I love all of myself, all of my experiences, all of my thoughts, my opinions, no matter how wild everything, which very much so includes my queerness and my Nigerianness existing together at the same time, is because I decided to stop carrying the weight other people were putting on me. I am who I am, and that's what makes me incredible. The same way you are who you are, and that's what makes you incredible. So don't let anyone ever try and take that from you. Don't let anyone ever try and take your special from you. Existing in the way that you do and living your truth is a very powerful space to occupy, and people are intimidated by that. Love is not one dimensional. It is not a monolith. Despite what the world tries to tell you, it can exist in so many ways, at different times, on so many layers, within so many contexts, with so many different types of people. And yet we seem to have put boundaries on the way a feeling as deep and pure and limitless as love can be expressed or experienced or shared. And that to me is kind of wild. Like, to put love in a box when it's like trying to put water in a box like it just doesn't make sense it should be able to flow freely love can be platonic polyamorous romantic monogamous playful it can be so many things valentine's day also focuses very heavily on the love one person has for another or the love someone has for their partner and i'm here to challenge that and i want to emphasize the love you have for yourself today and every day after today loving yourself gives you the opportunity to know how you want to be and need to be loved by others which in my opinion is a very important part of self-love the process of me learning how to love myself also came with needing to shed and that shedding was painful and it invites a good amount of discomfort so i definitely recognize the layers that exist within the process of learning to love yourself fully but still loving yourself is a priority and you deserve to be loved wholeheartedly and unapologetically Energetically, especially by you. Just saying. You loving you, very important. An unmatched type of love. If there's anyone that deserves to love you, it's you. It's you. You deserve to love you. So the world trying to take that away from you? Mm -mm. 
it should not be a thing. The world should not be able to take away the love someone has for themselves. And I find that the world does a great job at trying to do that with queer folk. And I'm kind of tired of it. I'm really tired of it. I'm very tired of it. So I'm always actively fighting it. Like, no, not today. Not the day after tomorrow. I don't have time for it anymore. I cannot entertain it anymore. I will not engage with it anymore. I cannot. For my own sanity, I will not. If I feel like you're trying to do anything to make me feel less than, or to make me feel like I don't deserve to love myself, or I shouldn't love myself yeah ex we're done no more i do not have the time or the energy every single day i remind myself that my consensual layered healthy loving accepting understanding complex patient supportive relationship is valid and deserves all the flowers despite what is said and done by the conditionings and the status quos and the normals and the should be's and the shouldn't be's despite all that i still remind myself that my relationship is valid and my relationship matters despite what the world says because it is it is valid and it does matter and no one and nothing can make me feel otherwise no your queer relationship is valid your queer relationship matters and it doesn't need to be understood by anyone else thank you you need to know that for yourself you need to believe that for yourself the queer relationship you have with others is valid the queer relationship you have with the world is valid the queer relationship you have with yourself is valid the queer relationship you have with life is valid you are valid you matter you are loved you are heard you are seen you are a gift you are inspirational you are important you know I'm realizing everything that I've shared here are words and experiences I wish I heard when I was younger trying to fight myself to fit someone else's mold or to be someone else just so I could fit in. So I'm dedicating this video to little Tucci, to baby Tucci, who was looking for validation and acceptance from others when I had it in myself all along. You don't need to try and fit into any box. The world created boxes. You don't need to put yourself in one. Just lead with positivity and a pure heart and good intentions that's what matters that is what matters being a good person is what matters thank you for watching this video i hope it aligned with you in one way or another i post videos every sunday at 9 a.m eastern time i will see you next week i love you bye for now mm -hmm.